the winner of tonight's seventh annual Elvis Impersonator Contest is none other than contestant number 21, Harold Lodanek. Elvis Presley impersonators killed in the last three weeks. What on earth could a killer's motive be to murder 15 Elvis impersonators? Obviously to get in the Guinness Book. Hammer, this is serious business. Performers are dropping like flies, and I want it stopped. So I suggest you and your partner get over to the county coroner's office and see what you can find out. Yeah, I'm getting it again, I know it. There it is. There it is. There it is. There you know, it for is. all my years of being a cop, I will never figure out how people time and time again can do something like this. It's true. The taking of a human life is just deplorable. Not that. Drawing the chalk outlines around bodies, that's it's a ridiculous way to make a living. Tell you, this has got to be the strangest serial killings I've seen since three years ago when that weirdy was running around town bumping off anybody who's ever been on county camera. Next of kin been notified? Yes, but none of them can identify the bodies. They all look alike, and dead ringers. Well, I hope nobody's offended, but I'm just going to go ahead and eat lunch, OK? What? You're going to have lunch now? Yeah, well, I know it's an odd time to have lunch, it being so late in the afternoon and everything, but I, I just, I cannot afford to skip meals. Tell me, uh, what exactly was the method used to do in these Elvises? The assailant struck each and every one of the victims in the head using a blunt object. What kind of blunt object? I'm not exactly sure. Their fragment studies have led me to believe that the weapon was gold-plated. Gold-plated? Yes, and furthermore, speculating from the size and the shapes of the wounds, it's my guess that each one of the fatal blows were administered by a microphone. A microphone? Well, I guess we should start bringing some game show hosts in for questioning, right? Mmm, look at this. Uh, no. Would you please stop eating? It's really in very poor taste. You're right. I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. I should have brought enough for everybody. Yeah. If you'll excuse me, I got to go get ready. Photographers are coming to take some pictures of myself, along with all these dead Elvises. What, for the newspapers? No, the Guinness Book. Can you imagine what it's like being a coroner? Going to bed every night, knowing the first thing to greet you in the morning is a dead body? Of course I can imagine, DeRoe. I told you. I was married for five years. All right, let's go over what we know so far. Fifteen Elvis impersonators have been murdered, and they all share one common denominator. Right. They're all dead. You know, Hammer, I really insist you adopt a more serious demeanor towards this case. All you've been doing is using it to make mediocre jokes. Don't be fooled, Duro. My mind is slowly putting the pieces together. Sooner or later, I'll get that beef jerky, and when I do... Oh! How's this investigation coming? Any leads? Not really, but after a few more victims get killed, we'll have more to go on. A few more? Hammer! You're not supposed to let anybody else get killed. You're supposed to stop that maniac. Look what the press has labeled this creep. Oh, this makes me want to throw up. Look at that. Why is the press always glorifying violent people? They write about somebody like me for a change. Sir, can't we postpone these contests? under the present circumstances. We tried that, Doro, but the promoters flatly refused. You see, they're building up to the big national finals, and these are just the preliminaries. Sort of the elimination rounds, right? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about, yeah. I feel a migraine coming on here. I know it. Now, Captain, I think I have finally found a method of getting rid of those headaches once and for all. What is that? Acupuncture. Get away from me. I'm good with, with these. The needles. No this needle. is good. Get away from me with the needle hammer. Get away from me with the needle! Get away from me with the needle! No. 
But I here, listen, watch. I am I am known for this. No, it's gone. Give me one chance. The needle. Give me one. Just get one. away from me with the needle. No needle! It lost. and bushy, and, and his jaw was very rigid-like. What's shaking? There's been another murder. This woman's an eyewitness. All right, what? lady, confess. I know you did it. Now talk! Ever! I'll get it out of her. Talk! Ever! She's a witness, not a suspect. <sighs> Sorry. I don't know where my head is at. Uh-huh! I... I think I've got it. Ma'am, is this the assailant you saw in the parking lot? That's him. This is the killer. Well, I think we finally have a positive link between our killer and his victims. Captain, we're going to have to round up all the Elvis impersonators with criminal records. I hate to admit this, Hammer. You know, it's really a shame that's incredible, isn't it, anymore? And of comments, will you, Hammer? Do any of these men resemble the attacker you saw in the parking lot? Yes. Well, which one? All of them. <laughs> well. Is there one in particular? It's either the second man or the fifth man. Would it help if we asked them to speak? Wait, I got a better idea. Okay, number two. Step forward. Okay, do a little bit of your act. Cameron, would you stop screwing around? Trust me. I know what I'm doing. That's terrible. Thank you. Please hold the applause until the end. Okay, number five. Same thing. Love me, no, 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 no. Elvis is my name. La, 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 oh, I believe it. No, 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 no. Oh, I believe it. That's the man I saw in the fucking room. Right, are you absolutely certain? Yes. Yes, he's the killer. All right, clear him out of there, please. Ma'am, if you follow me, I'll file your report now. Well, Captain, we got our man. Any chance of me rocking and rolling on his skull before you book him? Hammer, the man identified is a cop. I put him there to test this witness's credibility. We're back at square one. Not true, Captain. We can set a trap for this lard head. We'll lure him in, and I got just the right bait. What's that? Me. I'm going to do Elvis. drum routine of everyday office work? Then why not kiss monotony goodbye, put on some blue suede shoes, and become one of the millions of successful Elvis Presley impersonators. You'll earn big money performing at nightclubs, parties, and seances. Our instructors will teach you everything you need to know. The rest is up to you. So call us today at 1-800-555-KING. We're fully college accredited. I've done some checking into the background of each of these victims. Each and every one of them, at one point or another, have attended that school. Mm -hmm. So I took the liberty of enrolling you. Well, what do I need to go to some crackpot school for? I already know how to imitate Elvis. You just move your lips and twitch your hips and look bloated. Yeah, but Sledge, there's a possibility that the killer also went to the school and knew his victims. Now, maybe you can go there and see if you can find out anything about any past students, all right? It's a good idea, Darrell. You know, I hate to admit it, but sometimes you think like a man. I respect that. Well, thanks a lot. Actually, coming from you, that's quite a compliment. Be careful, Sledge. Attempting to snare a serial killer could end in death. I certainly hope so. I haven't killed a serial killer in months. 
But if I ever do lose my life in the line of duty, there's one very important last request I'd like you to follow up on for me. Sure, Sledge. What is it? Make sure my transmission gets rebuilt. Good afternoon, class. Welcome to the School of Elvis Impersonators. I'm your instructor, Mr. P. Now, after you finish this 12-week course, I'm going to have molded you boys into kings. Class has begun. You're late. That depends. If I didn't show up at all, this could be considered early. <laughs> well, why don't you just take a seat in the rear? First off, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I've been doing Elvis for 35 years. I'm the best. In fact, I'm so good, Elvis himself, in his later years, came to me for a refresher course. This guy's really out to lunch, huh? Hey, you. Come up here. I know your type. You ain't nothing but a troublemaker. Oh, yeah? You had any troublemakers like me recently? Now, why in the hell would you ask that, boy? I guess I just have a suspicious mind. <laughs> well, I don't think you can make it in my class, smarty pants. And you're gonna have to prove it to me that you can right now. Or I'm booting your hide out of this class. Now, dance! What? I said dance. I want to see if you got a natural, God-given sense of rhythm. Now move your body, boy, and dance. I'm calling the police. Hold off, friend. I am the police. Inspector Sledgehammer. And I'm on an investigation. Investigation? Say, so maybe you can help me. Can you think of any past students who might have, I don't know, acted sort of strangely? Yes, all of them. Can you think of one who might have resorted to murder? I'm not answering any more questions. Leave. Right now. I want to get home in time to watch Mr. Belvedere. I guess somebody has to. Well, the department was able to get you into this contest to lure the killer. You still have to win. Don't worry, Duro. I'll win. I don't know how you can be so sure. You haven't rehearsed. You don't even know what song you're going to sing. Neither did Elvis. Listen, Duro. I'm going to win this contest because whatever I put my mind to do, I do. Sheer will is my greatest talent. Well, I have to admire your confidence. Sure you're not the least bit nervous? 
I've never been nervous in my life. Now, where am I on this lineup? Well, you're following a guy from Dallas and preceding somebody from Miami. Between Dallas and Miami? What a terrible place for me to be. I'll be rooting for you. All, All right, right, now it's time, time to bring out our next contestant, Mr. Sledgehammer! Part. Now I get to see whether one of my scum sucking competitors takes the bait. That bar is still open. Buy a soda pop. Hammer, 
Summer, that man has a golden microphone. Oh, thanks a lot, Darrow. I, like, I really need you to tell me these things. Hey, buddy, just who the heck do you think you are? I'm the greatest impersonator of Elvis who has ever lived. It was you. You killed them all. Why? Because I'm clearly superior. I was laughed at. That's why they all had to die. OK, Frico. But that still doesn't explain why you chose not to waste me. I knew you were a policeman. There's only one person who could have known that I was a policeman. I know that guy. He's the, uh, the janitor in the Elvis school. I also clean nightclubs. For years, I have had to watch those people inferior to me enjoy the bright lights of the stage. I can do Elvis more efficiently than any of you. Consider yourself under arrest. And consider yourself dead! No! I know. That was the worst high note I ever heard. Hammer! Hammer! You be happy. Hammer! You'll be happy to know that that freak you bagged is going to be making a full recovery from his electrifying performance last night. Oh, Captain, don't be cruel. Oh, I'm sorry, Hammer. I, I know you're sensitive about Elvis Punts. It was unintentional, really. Oh, Hammer. Are you all shook up over sending a man to do the jailhouse rock, huh? <laughs> I'm getting out of here. I'm fed up with hearing about Elvis all the time. Maybe I'll take a couple of days off, take a vacation. I need it. Yeah, sure. Where do you think you'll go? Graceland. Mm -hmm. 